Welcome back to New Orleans where the Longhorns lost this year's Sugar Bowl to Washington. Final score in that game 37-31. He's Corey Mose. I'm Jeff Jones. And Corey, as we can see on the stage behind us, the burnt orange confetti did not come out, but there is plenty of purple and white confetti still up there. It's a win for Washington and obviously a loss for Texas. That hurts in the moment, but when you take a step back and look at how much this team accomplished this year, uh, winning enough games to win the Big 12, advance to the college football playoff just two years after many of these key players experienced a 5-7 and seven season. Yeah, and then after that season, Jeff, a lot of those players could have left, especially mm -hmm. in this day of NIL, but they stayed. And you fast forward to this season, a lot of players facing injury throughout the year, playing through those injuries and giving everything they had for this program. They actually spoke about that after the game, knowing that this team and this university meant everything to this squad. I can say, I can like honestly say on camera that I gave this university everything I had every day for 365 days. I can say that and honestly mean it. I heard uh, actually what Joe said. Like he said, I, I feel like I could truly say on camera that I gave the university everything I had. Um, the pledge of injury, um, just everything. I feel like I just gave the university everything I had. And I feel like this team gave the university everything they had this year. And I think a lot of our guys did. Like I said, I'm proud of them. Like, we, like I said, we came in, we went through a five and seven season, went through all these seasons, and now look at this. Uh, and it's something I, I would remember forever. Uh, just the bond and, and the impact that everybody had on each other. Uh, and just, just the emotions everybody showed um, with one another. We, we all knew each other's weaknesses and, and, and strengths. And just knowing that, uh, it's, it built something totally, something special that I'd always have in my heart. So as you heard, Jeff, a lot of emotions mm -hmm. and also a lot of emotional roller coasters throughout that game wow. all the way down to the final play. Definitely. That final play, the one that actually snapped when there was one second remaining on the clock. Going into that play, everyone knew what was on the line. They knew that that was the play that was going to decide two teams seize it. Either Texas was going to gain 11 yards and end in the end zone, advance to the college football national championship, or they weren't. And that's what happened after the game. We had a chance to ask the Texas players what was going through their minds just before and during that season ending play. With one second left on the clock, everybody knows uh, what's on the line. What does that feel like in the huddle and was anything special said before that final play? <clears throat> no, I mean, you know, uh, as we've gone throughout the season, we've built trust, and, you know, love for each other. We know that, um, you know, we go out there with a lot of confidence in each other, knowing that we're going to make plays. And, uh, you know, of course, it's, it's really, Bad feeling, you know, watching that ball go out of, the, out of bounds with zero seconds left. But, you know, at the end of the day, I love these guys so much. And, uh, you know, I thought we put everything out there. There really was no really, like, real message. Um, I feel like we, we kind of all got the memo. We just needed we just needed to make a play. And then that's what all that was going through all our heads. Um, that's really what, that's really all that happened. It's AD. When that ball, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's more like 80-20 with AD, you know. So, I mean, the DB made a good play. And um, I'm not looking at him like, it was bad for him, you know. I mean, we don't really go on the field preparing not to score. Uh, so, yeah, we was doing everything we could to score. So the result of the 2023 Texas Longhorns football season is that they came two wins shy of a national championship. Mm -hmm. After the game, one of the team leaders, defensive tackle Tavondre Sweat, said that his message to the younger players was pretty simple. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to the NFL. But you guys have enough talent, and now you have the culture to win it all. So go do it. Corey, we'll see if they can do just that very soon. That's all the time we have from New Orleans. For Corey, I'm Jeff.